Hi guys, welcome again to Barker's Barbecue. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cook a uh, rump cap picanha. All right guys, so today, as I mentioned, rump cap picanha. So basically, this is a Brazilian dish by origin, essentially, so what, Picanha literally translates to rump cap in um, in Brazilian. So, what it is, it's uh, it's the end cap of the um, of the beef rump cap section of the cow. So, you'll see when I open this up, you'll see how it has that taper. So off to one end. So, the way they're essentially built is that you've got um, a cap of uh, a cap of fat, and you've got the beef underneath. So, what you're going to want to do is just trim off the excess silver skin underneath here. Don't be too, uh, don't be too shy with it. You've got to get rid of it all to, uh, to get the best out of this cut. So just to get that off down there. <clears throat> all right, now what you want to do with this after you've got the silver skin off, might have went a bit deep there, it's all good though, but um, what, what you want to do once you've got all of the silver skin off is you need to actually cut it into three sections. So once I've got the silver skin off, we'll, we'll do that. But um, the great thing about this cook is that it really highlights the um, the, the beef side of things. It's not, um, you know, the beef is the real focus of the dish. It's not, um, you know, it's really simple. It's literally fire, smoke, and salt. That's it. So the only rub we're going to be using today is on the fat cap side, and it's this David's kosher salt. All it is, it's a thicker, it's a thicker grain salt. So if you have a look here. See, not that one, <laughs> but the, um, it's just larger grain than you're used to with your normal Saxa salt, and it's a bit more, um, a bit more intense with it. So, um, so basically what you're gonna wanna do, you wanna cut these as even as you possibly can, so um, into three. So if you've got a smaller one, you can go two, but this one, I think will go three. I might just chop that end off just to square it up. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is roughly find the center, Mark a line, just a, just a, just a line there. Try again, just to make sure we can see it. Yep, so mark that line. And then mark your halfway points between either side. And there you've got your three lines there. So, so this side will go here. One there, and then we'll halve this. And there we go. So now you've got your three portions there. Now, uh, one really, one other really important and crucial part to the whole um, to the whole recipe is you must do it on a rotisserie. So, I've got our rotisserie spike here that we're going to use to cook on the Weber rotisserie today. So, I'm going to get these prongs off there. So, one really important part to it is you need to assemble the pieces of rump cap onto the spike in a C shape, so you'll see the fat when you turn it over on its side, makes that C shape there. All right, so it's a little bit tricky, but what you're gonna wanna do is just spike it through there. Just be really careful of your fingers when you do this as well. Keep them nice and apart, otherwise you might skewer yourself. So just twist, there we go, it's come through there. Keep pushing, get it right on the spike. And you're gonna to wanna to do that with all three of the cuts. So, this one here as well. It's a little tricky to get, but just keep trying with it, so. Yep, there we go. Out the other side. And now we've got two of them on. And now I'll just get this third one. It's a little bit small, so I won't worry too much about the whole C side of things on this one. Um, but yeah, just straight through there. Now, you're gonna to wanna to get this nice and central. So um, let's get the other end of the uh, prong tip here. Just get it on there. You might not be able to skewer them with your prongs, but as long as you've got the pressure applied at either end, that's what, that way they'll stay where they are and just how they should be. So. We've got our picanha assembled on the spike now. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get the, um, get the salt on there. So 
Last time I tried this, I actually salted the whole, the whole cut, all the beef, all the fat, all sides. Actually turned out to be really, really salty. So this time I'm only gonna salt the fat because the beauty of rotisserie is that the fat in itself as it's escaping the meat and rendering out actually washes around the beef and it catches the salt as it turns. So um, it actually sort of self bastes which is one of the most beautiful things about rotisserie cooking. So yeah, don't be afraid to go heavy with the salt either because it's as long as you're just on the fat, you can't really fall off. So there we go. We've got everything ready for the, uh, for the picanha now. So we're just gonna take it out to the Weber and get it ready. All right guys, so we got the uh, picanha on the, on the spike now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in our Weber rotisserie. So we're just basically gonna put the end into the socket down here. Just make sure both your ends here are in the, uh, in the little grooves where they should be. And then all you do is flick the rotisserie on. And that's all we need to do. So about an hour's time, we're gonna check in on this. This is running at about 250 Celsius, 200 Celsius thereabouts. Um, so yeah, it's really, really hot. So no smoke wood today. We're just gonna let the charcoal do all the work. Uh, it'll, it's gonna infuse enough of that charcoal flavor into it without any wood today. So yeah, let's, uh, let's let this get, uh, get cooking and we'll come back in about 45 minutes to an hour. All right guys, so we're about uh, 30 minutes in roughly. Uh, we're just gonna check on the meat temp, just using our thermopen here. So we'll come in, we'll have a look and see how this is going. So this has been cooking at about 230 Celsius thereabouts. And currently we're at 110. As you can see, the, uh, the fat's uh, caramelizing quite nicely on there and rendering out nicely. There's still a little ways to go. So we're still at 110, 108 in the center. Uh, you know, we want to be aiming for around about 130 or so. I want this to be, uh, you know, medium, just a little bit over. So uh, yeah, we'll check back in uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, probably give it another half hour again and go from there. All right, guys. So it's been another 15 minutes or so. So altogether, it's been about 50, 55 minutes. So we're going to check on things. 135. These are a little higher. That's all right, no problem. More for the well done people in your family. That's fine. So 135, cool. So we're going to take these off and take it inside and get these rested while we get the uh, rest of this ready. Alrighty, so um, now I've got this inside. This has been resting under just some loose foil for about the last 10 minutes or so. As you can see, the fat has rendered down really nicely. You can see some salt flakes throughout. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. So just unlock the, uh, the skewers there and just get your three beautiful morsels of beef off the stick, off the spike. As you can see, just from resting, you can see how saturated that cutting board is just from these three bits of meat. So, like I said, this little one turned out to be quite well done in the end, but you know, it'll be, uh, I'm sure it will still be fine. This one turned out to be just right. So we'll cut into this one first now. Get yourself a nice sharp knife and just run slices just like this. Thicker as thin as you want, really. It's all gonna end up quite tender at the end of the day. But as you can see, that, that hard fat on the top has softened right up and crisped right up as well. Well, not crispy, but you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, just that beautiful soft and it's gonna be a beautiful accompaniment to that, um, the, rump, the rump meat underneath. So yeah, let's have a look at how this has turned out. Wow, well, look at that color in that. Beautiful. Now these little end bits obviously are some of the best bits, the richest, the saltiest, the fattiest. Oh, that's, that's good. Mm. All right. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go have some dinner. <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for watching my video on uh, rum cap picanha today. I hope you really got something out of it. Uh, feel free to give me a like on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram under Barker's Barbecue. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cook and uh, we'll see you next time.